Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the LV426, a collection of asteroids out in the ferment where we have been taking about 12 duplicates into the future for a little while now. Last time, we spent almost all of our effort on getting this rust deoxidizer set up. It's not actually the rust, the oxygen, or the chlorine that we're after. No, indeed, we are after this iron ore here so that we can go back to our original asteroid and create a whole bunch of steel. But why do we want the steel you might ask? Well we are colonizing this final asteroid, this other asteroid over here, the last one we have been colonizing. Uh, and over here we have two gold volcanoes and to do deal with the gold volcanoes we need to hook up a whole cooling system and such very much like this and that that is what I intend to do with the gold. Because who doesn't who doesn't want infinite amounts of gold? I mean, honestly, I could do with just about infinite amounts of gold. I think the way that we're going to deal with this here is take an insulated pipe. We're going to run it down here. We're going to grab ourselves a power unit and the steam turbine. We're going to have that over here. We're going to dump water in amongst this. And we're going to have a very similar pickup and cool system to what we have over here. The aluminium spews out onto the floor. This auto sweeper picks it up and puts it on the conveyor rail. Whereupon it cycles around round in the background cooling down in the steam until it drops to a low enough temperature whereas this shunt uh, shut off valve throws it up onto this rail and it comes for a final cooling outside that's the theory but we're going to see how well this actually works out in a practice the things that do tend to go a little bit awry when i am doing them so we'll just go for what what have we got unreachable dig electrical engineer do we really lack an electrical engineer i'm sure we can fix that Hmm, hmm, actually, rather than putting the steam turbine down there, we do appear to have ourselves a nice little ledge right here that would take a steam turbine absolutely perfectly, just, just like so. Why won't it place? <laughs> Well, that's not going to last very long, Mr. Pip. So I've gone ahead and given Hicks a few skills. Oh, those skills are over here. So that he can go through and dig all the materials that we need to dig out for this. It turns out there was some millwood in the way, by the way. That's 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 what I was having troubles with there. Uh, coming into... I keep, keep liking to click that research button, but that's not where we're going. Sir, Dr. Captain Subs, my friend. I think you can be an electrical engineer. Yeah, you could look at that. Bam. Nice and easy. Also, wow, did you see... The morale need, uh, the morale that you had there. Wow, this, this is good. Another thing that we're going to have to figure out over here on Sharubi is how we're going to start sending materials like the aluminium and the gold back. Uh, so coming over to the rocket tree here, we can take the interplanetary launcher just like we had on the original rock, Yakil. We're using this to fire steel over to Sharubi. So now we're going to use this to fire the materials back. Yeah, great idea. I love it. Going to set up a, an atmospheric checkpoint here. I'm probably going to just pull the oxygen out of the atmosphere. If we kind of dig that out. In fact, I'm going to dig all of this out and then we've got an uh, uh, a hydrogen trap at the top i'm not sure what we're going to do with the hydrogen but we've got a little hydrogen trap at the top which means we can pull the oxygen out from lower underneath Okay, the hydrogen is being set free. I mean, the fact that we took those two out already started to dissettle everything. That's pretty cool. We've got some polluted oxygen there. This is unacceptable. Where did you come from? All right, well, anyway, that's not the worst in the world. I suppose as we're getting infinite steel coming in from the other place, we should be able to keep repairing these as and when we need, maybe. It's wasteful, but we'll, we'll deal with it. And the way that we deal with it, of course, is a small automation setup, making sure that any gases that are not oxygen get thrown out back into the atmosphere. We only have a small infinite loop of doom here, so this pump is picking up any gases. Any gases that are not oxygen are being spat back out to be picked up by this pump, which is being put into the thing and it's not gas. Ah, okay, so we need to get some automation on the go looking for some oxygen. That should be fairly easy to do. I also see this oxyfern seed here. I don't normally want to use the oxyferns in my bases, but uh, it seems like a better idea to put it inside your your rockets. It's a, it's a, it's a great way of just dealing with carbon dioxide quick, isn't it? Uh, but I'm going to put down this farm tile and we're going to grow an oxyfern seed right underneath it so we can turn all this carbon dioxide into, into oxygen because that's what plants do, right? Only, only this one plant. Okay, eat carbon dioxide. I think we've got to give it some dirt and water. That's fine. Yeah, we're making dirt here and water. I mean, we've got this whole pond that it can survive off for a little while. Once the water's run out, we probably won't want to move this anyway. Uh, this this is a very temporary solution. It's not, not saying it's going to be going forever, but something that is going to be going forever, getting this interplanetary launcher set up. 
Oh, there's another. Oh, he did. He didn't. Did it. That, that Pip. He he put the oxyphone in the wrong place. Ah. Let's, let's let's wrangle him up. I've made a little place down here for anything. Anything we wrangle. So let's uh, let's hope that happens. Okay, wrangled, uprooted, and is he gonna go and make the delivery? No. Okay. How how do we force someone to make this delivery? Uh, H Hicks is on it. Okay, great. I'm I'm about that. I am about that. And drop him off. Now he's gonna drop her or her or whatever. He's gonna drop a uh, an egg at some point. Mm, yeah, pro probably one somewhere about halfway through its life cycle, which is gonna drop down here, and we're, we're not gonna have solved any issues. But it, it's a temporary fix, and temporary fixes are okay, right? Cycle 888, and I found a bit of a problem. So I put down this uh, blueprint here for making a conveyor loader for putting stuff into the interplanetary launcher, and I'd realized it made everything out of steel. So I was like, okay, I'll just cancel the orders here. Some of my steel's got stuck in a, in a tile. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that out or not. I, I don't know. In fact, it doesn't appear to exist according to the tooltips. But you may have noticed that this is not complaining about not having a skilled duplicate on board. That is because with the morale that Dr. K Captain Subs now currently has, we can make him a mechatronics engineer as well as a field researcher, and mostly he's fine with it. We, we probably will have to scrub him eventually, but 14% uh, four, stress only after a couple of days, I mean that's, that's stable. Oh, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. It's a problem that I foresaw coming, but we need to shut down the generator. The cooling loop is not in place yet. It really needs to happen. This is just topped over 100 degrees, and I've had a scolding warning. I, I have been working on this in the background, trying to get everything built, but now it needs to stop being a background thing, and we're just gonna we're just gonna concentrate. We haven't even got the uh, the loader set up yet, uh, but we've we've got to think about this for a little bit. Okay, this looks like all the plumbing that needs to be in place. I've already split the line. That was probably a bad idea. Let's put that back together for now. We'll uh, we'll split it when it comes around to actually needing it. Let's cancel that so we can mm, have our pipe coming out like that. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So when all of this gets done, this should be cooling loop ready. I've had to turn that on. Oh, wait, don't deconstruct. Disable that again. I had to turn it on so we could drain just this little bit of pipe here past the loop through. But yeah, this should, this should now work out fine. Can someone... Please. They were concentrating on things like food and going to the toilet. No, we need this cooling loop and we need it now. We only have a few pieces left to do here. We're having a little bit of trouble getting the aluminium out of the system here. I've turned the, the temperature. You know what? We're going to go to 160. We just need to get the aluminium out of the system so we can put it into the pipes over here. But we do have another problem with that. We've only got... Oh, 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 oh. It's already traveled away. We've only got this much coolant it's not enough we need more so i'm also going to be building this pipe down here i didn't realize it was going to be taken off like that i thought i'd left a gap oh well uh the, these are all things that we need to figure out on the fly last pipe in place and the coolant is starting to flow again this is good this is good okay cool now we need to deal with the fact that we, we need more coolant i've put down a pump down below here i hope this water's ah oh, well i i suppose we're gonna have to make do with it we're, we're, we're gonna be pretty much cooking it anyway so it doesn't really matter if it's got germs in it oh, we've got ethanol about ready to pop in the pipe here about 70 degrees it will turn into a gas thankfully the coolant's coming through it's about 30 but it's only just been passed through once i saw the first blob go in at 60 so i'm i'm, I'm kind of happy with that who's starving air up my friend i kind of doubt it oh actually you are Okay, we've got a convoy of food deliveries going through here. Hopefully this will be enough to keep them going for a little bit longer. So it gets put, food gets put in the conveyor loader, sent through the teleporter, and then over on Taranu, where people are starving, it gets dropped on the floor over here. Um, we are waiting for these hatches, but more importantly, these long-haired larva in the background to, to hatch out here. 11.49. Oh, we must have had some more. That's nice. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. And of course, these guys down here, they're, they're going to start dying soon and giving us more meat as well. All right, back to Shirubi. Let's see if we can't get this cooling loop up and running a bit better. That said, what, what temperature are we coming out of the pipe at? 31. Okay, so we're, we're holding steady for the moment. Okay. 
So I just received a scolding notification from Ash climbing around out here and I'm like that's a bit silly we've got like 20 on the rocket platform but minus 30 where could there be even a problem I came up here I was like oh 50 degrees this is not good has these have these guys been warming up maybe I should get some sort of cooling system oh what happened here 200 degrees across here I'm like oh no oh no we need to do something about this and the thing I've done is open the door I know, sound, sounds crazy, right? But hopefully we can let in enough oxygen that actually it starts uh, exchanging heat with its surroundings. Ooh, it, it is very low pressure in here. Very, very low pressure in here. We've got, we've got maybe a ton of oxygen outside the door waiting to go through. No, a kilo. Ah, not a ton, a kilo. It's a thousand, but it's a thousand grams. So that's going in at minus 10 degrees, something like that. It'll be nice to see what happens when... I mean, it does appear to be up here, but where, where, how do we see the pressure? How, look, look at this. This is terrible pressure. Okay, let's try opening the area up a little bit so we can get some more gas flowing through. It's helping a bit. Is it helping enough? We'll find out in a few cycles, I guess. Okay, the temperature is already starting to drop on these units here. That's nice. Like, literally visibly watching it drop. That's, that's really nice. That pressure wave, though. Oh. I wonder whether we could have like some sort of fan pushing through. Now, obviously, the only way we could do that is having a pump and then a, a, a an outlet over this side and just create some sort of flow. But it'd be nice if the uh, if the devs gave us something that we could put in a, in a hole in a wall and it would suck from this side and push onto that side. I'm not sure if we'd want it to go to vacuum. You know, it would have some sort of like minimum pressure it could uh, s sustain. But just to keep gases flowing, that would be really cool probably massively intensive on your computer all right we're gonna leave that running for a bit and let's see how the cooling loop is doing uh we're good we're good okay we've got water backing up here and uh this is not filling up because the the bridge lets the water that flows underneath take preference uh, more importantly, uh, what's the temperature? About 20 degrees. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can't change the, the bridge preference set up here. If we set this all to be destroyed, uh, we should be able to start filling up the reservoir. Okay, so these two are now feeding in through a little T-junction here. They'll uh, zip emerge, if you will, in, holding the flow up back here, which then means all the water gets put into this reservoir here okay that's beautiful beautiful we've destroyed the pump down here and moved it down a little bit further but honestly i'm not sure if we're gonna need it we seem to have a fair supply of coolant coolant at the moment I remember when this uh this episode was about trying to get to a gold volcano i've slightly rearranged the situation here put the steam turbine on top of this gold volcano go think about how we can get the steam being passed up and down as smooth as possible i'm actually tempted to bring this up this way and that way we can have the flow of steam coming up this way as well yes that will, that will work out quite well and then if we put the pump under the uh, outlet for the steam turbine down here we'll have cold below getting warm and bringing up being brought up to the top yeah with the conveyor loader hooked up and ready to go there is definitely one thing i need to send over immediately as soon as i remember where it's kept organic of course eggshells we need eggshells to be going across over to if we come here and change our target your kill beautiful over on your kill i have set up a beacon up the top here this is uh unpowered though oh no Oh, no, it's power. Is th this. This needs to be fixed. Almost always quicker to rip one down and put it back up again. Okay, there we go. We've got our targeting beacon. Ooh, off it goes. It's shooting some stuff as well. It's targeting beacon is ready to go. Can we change this to over here now? Will it accept it? I, I hope so. Now we need to try and get a whole bunch of eggshell in there. Okay, so that's been put in place. Eggshell, nice, nice, nice. Ah, of course. One more thing. Okay, two sets of Red Bolt generators already producing a great amount of Red Bolts. Uh, we really do need to, at some point, get around to making a much better system. 25 per cycle, it's quite a small number. We could do a lot better than that. But right now, this will do fine waiting for it to launch. 
So I don't think it was the cooling loop's fault, but we were starting to have a bit of an overheating problem here. This uh, steam was climbing up uh, 200 degrees or so, which was a fine if we were trying to keep the steam, steam turbines turning over an efficient level, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to cool down some aluminium here. It was getting so bad that it wasn't cooling down enough to be spat out over this side, uh, and we, we've had some, some aluminium get dropped in here. That wasn't there when I last looked. It must have been something to do with the save and a reload. I've got a whole bunch of new stuff to do over this side and we're gonna have to break in there at some point but now is not the time for that oh we, we got this over here by the way just by building some layers and as we we're building the next layer corner destroying the uh, the blocks here so we could put a second steam turbine down just to really like double the cooling power mostly trying to cool this metal tile as you can see it's now down to 160 as opposed to like the 170 like I say up to 200 that we had earlier We've got water at about 20 degrees here. That's about what we're what we're looking for. As you can see, it's going to be uh, fluctuating around uh, there. And uh, the aluminium is still 100 degrees. It's not cooling down as fast as I would have imagined. Maybe we could put some temperature. In fact, th th that's that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to pop a temperature shift plate as soon as I remember where it's kept. Gold. Gold, gold is incredibly good at this. Let's put that there and it will all share around. Maybe we'll turn this into a thermal tile of some description. But that's not what we're doing right now. No, 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 no. Over here, we have got ourselves... Well, we're trying to pump this area out. We want to be able to fill this with steam and turn, use the steam turbine to turn it over. Are we going to need a second steam turbine? I don't know. We've got plans if we do need it. But assuming that we don't, I've put down an auto sweeper here that's going to pick up the gold. Two of them, in fact, one from there, one from here. A conveyor loader that they can both reach. And we're going to use the similar system as we've got over here where the steam just cools it down. Perhaps we will have a cooling block on the outside here to drop it off in. In fact, we will definitely. Let's uh, we'll have a conveyor shoot just over over here that would be beautiful and of course we need some lines going past but we also need one to spiral around but we need we need ourselves a uh, mechatronics engineer there is one person who's becoming an engineer and back out again of course I talk of dr. captain subs but we're gonna hold on for the moment uh, as you can see it just needs two more there um, but we're gonna hold on for the moment because I want to pump this out first I want to be able to have this going we've got a liquid lock I'm gonna remove the bottle empty here, and I think I think we might need to have ourselves an exosuit an atmosphere suit sorry uh doc here I don't know how I do it every time. Of course, these guys are going to need some cooling. We're up to 246 degrees already. At what point does this melt? I don't know. Oh, before we got 1400. Okay. I am trying to build some temperature shift plates, some airflow tiles, and some drywall in the background. We're going to drop some liquids on top of this, and hopefully that will uh, permit some transfer. This single atmospheric suit dock is definitely constricting how much stuff can get delivered at any one time. There, there are there are problems. How is that low priority? Priority. Wait, temperature shift plates made out of... Hold, hold on, hold on. What what am I building here? <laughs> Did we use all the gold? Is that is that what's going on there? Okay, fair, fair enough. Why, why dirt, though? Why, why would you select dirt? That, oh, okay, fair enough. What, whatever, we'll just let... What's, what's going on down here, then, with this temperature shift plate? No, not this one. This temperature shift plate. Is it still waiting for gold? Okay, I've set enable auto bottle. I've gone for all liquids. We're going to turn up the priorities. We're going to see what's going to get dumped here. No, no one wants to do it. Okay, we're going to see what gets dumped here first. I think we're going to get some water by the looks of it. I mean, that's that's cool. Water will work. Hope. I mean, that it's going to instantly flash into steam, right? That's that's not going to hang around. It is doing a good job of cooling it down, though. That that's that's fine. That's fine. We're we're down to like 40 degrees, something like that. Okay, what's going on? We got some hydrogen there. Okay, that's 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 fine. That's fine. It looks like we've got a little bit of water wherever we need it. There's a little bit down on the bottom there as well. More importantly, what's going on for the temperature overlay? It, this, it, this is fine. This is this is more than dealable. 30 degrees there. I, I kind of feel like it's lying to me, but that's that's okay. 89. Uh, we, we are touching the floor here, so that, that should be okay as well. The pumping is underway. Dr. Captain Subs here trying to charge up a battery, but I do believe these two uh, gas pumps are just going to drain faster than the manual generator can produce, which means this is his life for a little bit. That That's fine. We're, we're not going to be at it too long. As you can see, we're already down from about three kilos of oxygen down to 500 grams, so we're doing pretty well at clearing it out here. It's a bit hard to see past all of these lacking mechatronics engineers uh, symbols, isn't it? Sorry about that. Uh, as, as soon as this job's done this job will get done oh no the the liquid log's been broken oh well, we got this side still running but someone must have breathed out as they walked past this way uh, that's that's a bit of a shame not the end of the world at the moment it will be if this completely breaks but at, at the moment we're fine 
Okay, I've been watching Hicks go around and make deliveries for a little while now. I think it is time, I think it is time to stress out my friend here just a little bit. Sir, Dr. Captain Stubbs, Esquire the second, I need you to go through and fix all of these. Just, just construction, thank you. Fix all of these, thank you. And he's doing delivery. I, th I thought there was enough deliveries done that he wouldn't need to do this. And uh, I think maybe we've done this in the wrong order of clearing out all of the oxygen in here. We're going to leave this puff going, I suppose, for a little bit. He'll make some oxide. People can kind of breathe a little bit. There's not much gas in there. 700 milligrams. Okay, that's, that's fine. But really, we just need this built. And we need this built now. Well, night time? What? Okay, things have taken a turn. Looks like the aluminium has spread. Okay, we're going to have to bust in there right now because, uh, well, I mean, just we, we need to get this working, right? I'm sure we need to get this working. Hopefully, Hicks will come along pretty quickly. Yeah, the deconstructs always seem to take priority over just about everything else. But that said, we need to pump up the digging priorities here. I don't know if anyone's set to be a... A, a serious digger, someone who's got the digging as their highest priority. Hicks, wait, where you go? He's got food poisoning. Oh no! Oh well, I, I'm not quite sure how that happened. These guys shouldn't be covered in food poisoning, though I'm sure it's there somehow. No, oh, it's slime lung. I was expecting slime lung. Okay. Hmm. All right, people are through and digging. That's good. That's good. Let's uh, seal this up. Come on, Bert. Get on out of there, man. Get out. Um. Yeah. Cool. Right. Beautiful. Now we need to make this construction the most important thing. <laughs> hmm. We don't seem to have the power to turn over the ethanol distillery. Some some reason. Oh, I wonder what's going on with that. So the sweepers are working and the conveyor shutoff is saying, yes, it's below 150 degrees. Let's dump it all outside. That's pretty cool. You can see I've also put a thermal aqua tuner and a small cooling loop. This is going to keep the water that we're going to have out here that cools the gold down cool. Uh, here's a little tank because you always need... I've done it again, haven't I? Look, look, look at this. Well, th those pipes need to swap around the other way because I put the input as the output, the output as the input. Uh, but over here, this cools down the power and then this cools down the steam turbine. So that should keep everything that needs to be cooled nice and cool. So there's only a couple of things we need to do to get this up and running. The first is to put some coolant in the coolant loop. We can do that here. And then once we've done that, we can destroy this liquid bridge here and then start filling this space up with polluted water. That should hopefully boil when we uncap these gold volcanoes. Uh, let's put this onto all again. Uh, it wasn't quite in the right place. I had to shimmy it around just to make sure everything could be moved into this spot. Okay, with liquid going into the system, I kind of want to seal up these doors, but to do that, I'm going to have to open these. It really needs to happen now. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure whether I want to get back in there to study them. I think we'll be doing it through here via an atmospheric uh, atmospheric suit. That's, that's the word I couldn't say. I, I have no idea why. I just stumbled big and hard there. Okay, gold volcano open, a gold volcano open. So Captain Subs does have the ability to go in there and analyze. Uh, kind of surprised to see this battery out of power. There's uh, more important things he could be doing with his time. I've turned down the uh, priority of that. He could be making lumber deliveries so we could get some, some two kilowatt power. Why? Why? Let's do my classic trick of cutting off the rest of the base that in fact is not to do with the uh, the production of power down here. It still seems to be a problem though. Well, I don't like doing that, but I think that's got us back up and on power, on route. Oh, this 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 keeps threatening to pop. Keeps threatening to pop. You know, I thought quite hard about whether to put this vent output over on this side or this side. And I decided to have the cooling down the bottom so it could all turn to steam and come up here and provide cooling anyway. Of course, I didn't think about the gold that would be flowing out of here and touching our auto sweeper. I don't think we're going to be able to get this place full of steam in time. Ooh, thankfully, this is kind of cooled, but that's, that's, that's hot. That's very, very hot. Hicks trying to build himself inside. I mean, it's fun, but not what we're after. Okay, we need to get some priorities on the go here. This needs to be su In fact, let's just cancel those. This needs to be super high priority. Okay, bad times are happening, but we've opened this liquid vent as opposed to that one. That's that's pretty good. Uh, let's now try closing this. The liquid has flowed out. Okay, we're getting some steam. That's good. We, we really need to close down this area here. Hopefully Hicks is on it right away. Yes, he appears to be. He's complaining about being cold. Everybody else is uh, scolding, but he's complaining about being cold. Ah, oh, I'm not sure about this. 
Sand? What? Okay, I've got a feeling we're going to be breaking in there again at some point, but we're going to put some atmospheric check suits, uh, checkpoints up. Okay, so we've got pretty much a, a full liquid reservoir here of polluted water. 23 degrees, not bad. I have started the flow up again, so this is going to make sure that the bridge here doesn't output. But you know what? I think I'm just going to go straight ahead and destroy that. We're now pouring almost all of this water straight into here. There's going to be a bunch of dirt on the floor. That's probably where most of the sand's coming from. We'll figure that out as we go along. Like I say, atmospheric, uh, atmospheric suits will be a winner here. Okay, I recognize the need here for a bit of a cooling system coming down. We've got this nice little cool area over here, and we've got all this pipe running underneath that I think would do quite well at swapping the gases around and making the cold stuff, like the hot stuff cold. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. But the problem would be, the problem would be, we would drop all of these fluids here. So I'm going to cut this line uh, and hopefully minorly encourage people to come along and do this. This is good with how quick this is turning over. We should be able to do this without any serious drawbacks. Always worried about bringing the base to a screeching halt by doing things like this, but I think I think we're fine. I think we're okay. And already the temperature is starting to drop. That's cool. I just hope it's uh, good enough for up here. Okay, I think we need to stop pumping some of this liquid in until we get some steam rolling. Let's break it there. I mean, we've got a big problem with it going up with sand at the moment, but we've we've got gold coming out of this. Quite a lot of gold coming out at reasonable temperatures, no less. Look at this. It's like cold out here and stuff. It's hot in there. A lot of polluted oxygen. Yeah, of course, of course it would. Oh, of course it would. I wonder if we can, like, turn one of these, maybe this one in this one here, in fact, into an airflow tile. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Okay, I'm just going to start cycling everything around. I see some things getting pretty hot here and I would like that not to be the case. So we're going to start cycling items around until they get below. I mean, they're never going to get below zero, but I just want to start warming this water up and the, the, the polluted oxygen and everything else to the same degrees. Okay, gold volcano, rising pressure. It's over. Oh, that's good. We can put extra gold in there. Okay, we're getting some steam made. This is great. This is what we actually want is a bunch of steam up here. The question is, will this be over pressure at the top here or not? Will we, will we actually be able to get some of the steam into the turbine? Sure do hope so. We're definitely crushing down that polluted oxygen, which means everything's going to be sharing temperature here. What are we at? We're at 200 degrees. I, I might just pop a tile and cause some troubles. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it now and we'll fix it as we can. Okay, the break is happening. Here we go. The bad, bad times are afoot. Bad times are afoot. I'm trying to push all the polluted oxygen out. It's hot, but that's fine. Is it, is it traveling? Is it going or is there more, more pressure out here than there is? I mean, we're losing some steam. I'm not that bothered by that. If I'm to be honest. Okay, I'm going to seal this back up. This seems like a bad plan. Uh, no, go, 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 go. Hmm, this is a problem I've solved before. I'm not sure I want to go to that level of finesse of having a door set up to let uh, gases in and out. It's just the carbon dioxide I'm worried about. So if we could wait for all the carbon dioxide to come down the bottom here, we can then just crack this open. I, st I still think this is not a great idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, that was downtime. We're going to have to hit red alert on this one. Just making sure... Okay, no, no, no. We don't have enough pressure in there. Fair enough. Oh, red alert. Red alert. Okay, we've got ourselves a vacuum maker. This cannot be a constant thing. This runs all our duplicates past the utility tunnel I've built. That's that's not a winner there. That's not a winner there at all. I'm going to deconstruct those and deconstruct this. Good luck who's ever, whoever is going in there. Let's see what... What happens? Okay, well, the way has been opened. So Dr. Captain Subs probably doesn't want to hang around shaking his feet off while he's doing that. Can we also get, deconstruct that one? I've got a feeling Hicks is going to be along to deconstruct that in a second. We'll just let this flooding continue across. I've got no problem with that. What I do have a problem with is the fact that this steam is not letting the polluted oxygen across. Uh, okay, here's Hicks. That's good. That's good. All right, away we go. We've got gas moving here. That is good. That is good. I'm going to gonna go ahead and grab a tile for when all of this gets cleared through cold damage that's fine that's fine as long as it doesn't destroy the pipe entirely we'll be good oh no we've got water being turned to steam over here this isn't ideal if i'm to be honest with you it's not great let's wait for the quick the uh, auto save to clear through and see what's going on up here five grams okay that's that's not the worst i've seen this is cleared through relatively quickly actually okay cool uh, in that case Come and fix that, guys. <laughs> 
Okay, no one's actually dead, though a few people are much worse for wear than I thought they would be. Uh, I could get in there and dig up the sand, but I don't, I don't think we need to do that. Oh, man. Oh, there's actual gold being made. We might need to do that. Okay, let's start pulling some 150 degree materials out of here. I've got a feeling it's going to immediately start warming stuff up, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. No, we seem to be doing okay. Steam turbine just turning over. This is good. This is good. I can live with this. Oh, uh, I think my sand got melted into igneous rock. I'm kind of okay with that. that that's fine. Look, we got glass as well. I'm also okay with that. Does that mean this is going to break? That would be great. That sand had to get very hot to turn into glass. 1,700 degrees. What, what's coming? Oh, 2,200. Now, the thing is, gold doesn't have a huge thermal conductivity, I believe. Uh, not conductivity, sp specific heat. So it doesn't hold a lot, but it transfers it very, very quickly. Hmm. Ooh, gold gas. <laughs> Well, with both of these gold volcanoes spewing out their contents, turning into gold and being put into the system, I think we can call that a roaring success. We know how to clear this out if we have any more troubles from the polluted water, and indeed we have managed to cool down the aluminium to a much lower level, even though it's now currently erupting and pushing this up to about 180. There's 200s to be looking at here. We had a little bit of troubles with the power, but we've managed to get on top of all that, and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're going to take advantage of the gold and the aluminium that we have in large supply try and push all of our technology forward from raw materials up to refined materials but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye